I'm Prince Jacobs, AYSL alum. I'm 14, I play for OCSC. Alright, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. So, let's have a chat about your experience so far. Um, why don't you start off and explain kind of your journey to get here in your 14 years? Um, I first started playing AYSL, um, and then probably when I was like six or seven, um, maybe like eight actually, I joined uh, United, which I don't know if they're still playing or a team. And then probably from like seven to like 10, I, I joined Strikers at 10. Um, and I'm still playing with Strikers right now. And then I signed with the uh, OCSC. So, when did you really fall in love with soccer? Um, probably when I was like three, four, maybe. Did you always know you wanted to play this for the rest of your life? Or yeah. You did? Yeah. So, what was it about it that gave you joy? Uh, pretty much just like being around your friends and um, enjoying playing. Is that why you still play with your friends now? Yeah. Is that why? Uh, and, well, partly also just to get. Um, game time right now. So, yeah. Your skills. Yeah. Much. So, um, I think the, you are 14. So, how is it being in an adult world being a 14 year old? Uh, it's pretty different. You know, just like the older guys and um, not being with your age or even like two ages above you is really different. Do you feel that? it challenges you in ways you didn't expect? Yeah, definitely. And does that make you a better player, a better person? Like, what does that give you? Um, it, just in the long run, it like, better for me to experience this now instead of when I'm 19 or 17. So, I know you had a lot of interviews, you had a lot of people talking to you, and the youngest player, younger than Freddie, what is it, um, does that even matter to you, or are you just focused on the soccer? Uh, it doesn't really matter. For like a couple of weeks it was pretty cool, but I'll let you get over it and keep like, working hard and playing. So what is the thing you're looking forward to the most as you take on this new venture? Um, probably playing pro. Just, uh, Pro soccer That's really cool. So what advice would you give to kids that are a few years younger than you, kids that are on club teams? Like, what are the things, the main things that you have to do to really get to this point or continue with your soccer career? Um, probably just keep working hard and um, always have confidence in yourself. How do you think your, how are your family and friends reacting to all of this? Uh, they're pretty excited. Uh, my, both of my brothers played soccer and my dad played soccer, so that's pretty exciting. And so what do you think, um, if like some little AYSO kid right now is like three or four years old and it's just all of a sudden just taking the soccer ball around for the first time, um, what would you tell that kid? Um... First of all, I'll probably just like enjoy the time that you're playing, honestly, and um, pretty much just do what you want. Uh, like, they don't have to play soccer; they can play basketball, like baseball, or anything. Uh, but just enjoy it. How about the people that you surround yourself with? Do you think that's important? Uh, people, uh, your friends, your yeah, I would say it's really important to just find like uh, good friends to hang out with, and uh, also um, support. Yeah, because is it you still have the same friends you've had? Yeah. Are you still going to school? Yeah, I go to school from like two to five. Is it weird for your friends to see you? And you're like, I'm sorry, I have to go to my yeah. my job. Yeah. <laughs> Francis is uh, it's not a short process. Uh, we we don't we don't expect him to play the next game or next week. It's like 
like two, three years we want him to develop to be a best soccer player he can be. But it's a long process. So, like I said, we we need time. It's not easy with a young young player like him to train with the first team with professional. The guys like for 20, 25, 30 years old. But he is doing well, and and I'm with him. I'm focused on his weakness. Uh, uh, like some finishing, some long ball, stuff like that, moving his feet quicker. And then with the video, we can work on his positioning and, and stuff like that. But like I said, it's a long process. We we, we want him to play as well with strikers. He's gonna he's gonna do that. And the more minutes he can take, it will be benefits for him and, and for the club. I'm Cindy Jacobs, and I am Francis's mom. And I am very proud of him. Obviously, it's really wonderful to just First of all, see him working so hard, but also to have got this far so quickly is really wonderful. Um, I have many memories of him training with AYSO and in Laguna Beach. We have had some great dad coaches who I think paved the way for him to uh, be here today. Not only with their enthusiasm, but actually taking the time to teach the kids the rules, uh, camaraderie, working hard, being a good teammate. Um, so it was very many years that he played AY so, and played club at the same time. Um, and I think it really, the fun part of it, really paved the way for him having a love of soccer and wanting to go further and wanting to play club soccer and then finally getting to this point. So. Um, it's been a short journey, but a wonderful one. And I hope it's a very long journey from here. Um, and we've enjoyed every minute. And um, we're just so proud to be here and to still be watching him play, which is a joy. Um, and yeah, we look forward to many more years of just being able to watch him on the field, having fun, working hard, and enjoying his teammates. Well, Oliver, how are you? Great, thanks for coming out. Thanks for being here, part of Orange County Soccer Team. Well, no, it's our pleasure. And can you explain a little bit of our partnership, our history, before we talk about some of our wonderful players in the field? Yeah, we've had now a great partnership for the last two and a half years, I believe it is. And it's all about for Orange County Soccer Club to really build that pathway for players to be part of our family, if we can call it the family, right? Yeah. And really building through, and as you know, on the grassroots levels, there's nobody better than AYSO. Most of our players that are local or probably the nation might have started off AYSO. We, we have a deep connection, and it's very unique to see these players who started AYSO now playing as professionals for us. Uh, our new signing is Francis Jacobs, who's made big headlines, who's the youngest ever to sign a professional contract, but that was not important to us. We've had uh, Francis in training with us since May. We closely evaluated him. We had him uh, scouted before we've known of him, and we felt that he was ready for the next step. What we're doing here at Orange County Soccer Club, yes, we want to win USL Cups and Championships as any other professional team, but we feel so strongly about the local community, about the talent, and we want to bring in the younger players and develop them in a professional structure at a younger age so they can maximize their potential. It's nothing new, it happens all over the world. It's just usually pro teams in this area or in this country, they're more worried about winning championships at all costs than actually developing winning championships, but in the style of the organization. And I think that's a perfect, um, it's such a perfect alignment with the AYSO and our AYSO United program in general. Um, even though Aaron and, um, and Francis didn't come from United, they came from local other clubs, but their basis and foundation is in AYSO. And I think the idea of the player development is, is key to us, it's one of our philosophies. What is that pathway look like for an Aaron who now is two years in, but how is Francis starting on that? What does that look like for them? First of all, we want to have great relationships uh, with everybody who plays soccer in Orange County, if that's AOS or any club. And obviously with AOS Hill United now, you have some very elite players uh, that in a matter of fact, we're also inviting for our U17 Academy Cup that is starting this October for the first time um, in, in San Antonio in a special tournament. But I think at the end of the day, it's, it doesn't matter where the players start. I think if you teach them the proper you know, skills at a young age, which AOSO does a very good job, and then you look for the mentality and let them develop at their own pace. It's like here, our young players are under no pressure that they need to play. These are not marketing deals. These are not so we can say we're signing young players for the sake of it. We're signing these players because they're ready. 
And again, they're learning the principles and the fundamentals of the game at the young stages when they start. And I think uh, the mission and the basic statement of, of AYSO is very much aligned with us, right? It's we want players of the absolutely highest character. We want to make sure they understand what it means to work in a team. We want them to be role models when they come up to us and get back to the community. That they're talented players, yes, we probably know that because otherwise we wouldn't be interested. But the mentality aspect and the characteristic of the player and what they do, not only on and off the field, is very, very important to us. And I think that's what we 100% align with AOS as well. Well, that's exciting. We can't wait to see. We'll obviously want to follow this story and follow their journeys and their pathways and hopefully we see more of a YSO alum going out there and, and being a part of what you're doing here. Well, thanks for being part of it. Thanks for supporting it. And there will be many more coming. So see you very soon again. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.